Hello, hello. I am up close once again. I've got some eye candy for you guys. I had this set up a few videos ago and I got a lot of positive feedback from you guys so I thought I'd try it again and today's video is going to be really casual, just sort of chit chat style. I wanted to finally talk about this notion that those of us who purchase expensive designer handbags are purely doing it to show off. I really want to debunk this. Of course it'll be true for some people. Some people really do want to show off. Some people love bragging. Some people love to feel better than others. And I'm sure we all do this from time to time in various pockets of our life with or without designer handbags. But I think for the most of us, the majority of us, especially those of you who are on my channel watching my videos, you are true handbag enthusiasts like myself and it's not about showing off but it's about enjoying and indulging what you really like what you get excited about that's how it is for me and one of the things that I've noticed is that more and more of us handbag enthusiasts are gravitating towards bags that are a little bit more discreet a little bit more subtle now of course, many of us handbag lovers know this bag. This is the Hermes Kelly, mine's in the 28 size. Gris Meyer color, Togo leather, gold hardware, retourne style. But that's because we're handbag lovers, we know this bag. The vast majority of the universe has no clue what this bag is, nor would they care. And I think that a lot of us Hermes lovers like this bag because it's quite discreet. There are no logos, there is no branding whatsoever, and so you can't tell that this is an expensive bag just by looking at it. We like the history, the heritage, the quality, the craftsmanship, the feel, the look, the design, whatever, all, all of the above. But it's for us, it's for us to enjoy because these are not cheap. So we work hard and we spend our hard-earned money to indulge in what we enjoy and how Silly would it be if we did that just to show off to other people when the majority of other people don't care about handbags the way we do. So I really don't think it's about showing off. Now there are people who like fully branded, all logo, you know, logo mania, head to toe, and that makes them excited, that makes them happy, that makes them feel well dressed or confident, and that's, that's for them, that's great. There's no judgment here. I want this to be a judgment free zone. I think that Sometimes people who dress in full logos like head to toe, they look like they work for the brand, they look like they could be a model or an advertisement for the brand, but sometimes I can see that that's just who they are, that, that suits their personality, that that's what makes them happy. Are they showing off? Maybe, maybe, but I try to assume the best and my assumption is that they like dressing like that. You know, they just do. So I want to talk about Queen Elizabeth. Now that's going to sound so random in this video, but it's not. It's actually very connected. Queen Elizabeth, the late Queen Elizabeth, beloved Queen Elizabeth, she was one of us. She was a handbag lover. Did you know that? Yes. She, if you look at all of her photos, so many photos of her, going way back, like years, decades, she always has a purse or handbag in the crook of her arm and you'll notice that the style of the bag is always very similar and it has recently been discovered that she owned a collection of handbags dating back to I think the 70s um, from one company Lawner. Now Lawner is a handbag company that I believe is based in London and from what I understand, they're pretty pricey, but not the most expensive. And they make a lot of top handle style bags, which the queen preferred. And they make handmade, okay, high quality bags made of exquisite top quality leathers and materials. And this is the company that supplied all of the handbags for the queen. This was her preferred brand. It's not glitzy. She doesn't need to show off of anyone in the universe if you think about it she was the queen of england she doesn't need to show off so clearly this was not about braggery this was being a handbag enthusiast she loved her handbags 
I also learned that she never got rid of any of her handbags. She had handbags dating back, like I said, decades, and she would just cycle through them. They all had very similar styles, but over the years she asked for customizations, you know, slightly longer handles so that she can shake hands with people a little bit easier than if it was short. And the inside of the bags, she's asked for different linings. And yeah, she was quite involved. She was quite involved. And this is the thing. She went to Lawner. She went to their manufacturing site and she watched the whole process of the handbags being put together. Okay, so she watched the whole crafting assembly process. Now, to me, that is absolutely, most definitely a handbag lover. If you don't love handbags, you don't do that. You just say, thank you, this is a nice purse, I'll wear it until I get sick of it, and that's that. But she wanted to see how are the bags made. And I just keep holding this because this reminds me very much of her bags. It's got the top handle and it's got that sort of simple silhouette. I don't own a Lawner bag, but I think that a lot of people are gonna actually go ahead and order some bags from that company because it's a way of remembering the queen, but it's also, she exuded elegance and charm, and a lot of people are now associating that brand and their handbags with the queen. So I think they're gonna blow up even more. Okay, so here is another kicker. I loved seeing this. Apparently the queen was quoted saying, I don't feel dressed without a handbag. Now, how many of us can relate to that? I'm raising my hand. Yeah, when I put myself together, I feel like the handbag is the cherry on top. That is the, that's, that's the finale. That's the, that's the accessory that pulls my look together, pulls my outfit together, makes me feel put together, okay? And again, this is not about showing off. This is not about, how I look to other people. This is how I feel to myself. And look, I'm not in my teens or 20s or even 30s. I'm in my early 40s. And when you get to a point in life, you really stop caring about most of what other people think. And you just want to enjoy your time the way you want to, enjoy your body, the way you look, feel comfortable. You know what I mean? And spend your money the way you want to. It really becomes less and less about other people and much more about your own personal choices and preferences. I think a lot of us can relate to that, right? So I, I know there are people who buy expensive things just to show off. It's not just bags, it can be cars, it can be sneakers, it can be, I don't know, there's so many different things. But I do think that true handbag lovers, true handbag enthusiasts like the queen are doing it just for themselves just for themselves, just for ourselves. Now, I'm gonna show you some other bags here. I think that a lot of us handbag lovers are gravitating more and more towards bags that we enjoy that other people can't recognize. So again, absolutely not about showing off. This one here, if you didn't know, you would never know. Look, you don't know what brand this is from if you don't know handbags, and this is not expensive. But I could say, this is a $10,000 bag, and somebody might believe me. This is a coach bag. It's not branded anywhere. There's no logos anywhere. I love this little cutie. Do I feel less than wearing this versus my Chanel bags? No. This is the bag I choose for the outfit I want to wear and the mood that I'm in that day and I feel great when I choose it. Otherwise I wouldn't have chosen it, right? Here's another bag that I absolutely adore. This bag I bought in Barcelona from a brand that nobody knows about. Here's the brand name. I actually researched this brand and learned all about the background of the owner and everything before I sought out the boutique intentionally, literally looked for it when I was traveling in Barcelona with friends. And you guys know I'm huge. I'm a huge reader. I love books. I read all the time. And this bag looks like a book so I adore it look at it it's so special do you see and I imagine that a true handbag lover would have bags like this that are just purely for themselves that have no way of being brag worthy <laughs> and you still love them equally as much as the other bags that are more recognizable this one here 
Of course, you'll recognize it, but many won't. This is the Celine Classic box bag. No branding, unless you open it, and it's just this tiny little Celine. And Celine also is still kind of understated, so even with that little Celine print, many won't know what that even is. I love this bag because it's so discreet and so understated, and it's just chic and beautiful. Is it expensive? Yeah, it's pretty pricey. Did I buy it to show off because it's expensive and I hope that other people will know it's expensive? That is like, ri like ridiculous logic, not even logical, right? I bought it because I liked it for what it was and for what it does for me. And so I think that, I believe that what I'm sharing will resonate deeply with a lot of you. I have received over the past few years comments like, how do you overcome judgment? Um, or, you know, I've even received accusations like you are just showing off that you have money. And I don't really care about any of that. I don't, because you'll be judged for anything with or without handbags, one way or the other. So why do I care? I have like this filter. You guys, remember this? If you watched my video where I covered my first time at New York Fashion Week, I brought this clutch. This is a little clutch that I got from a lesser known brand called Alexis Bitar. I talked about this little hand detail I talked about a few handbags that were tempting me and there was a handbag version of this with the hand detail and some of you commented in that video saying oh no don't buy that that's really creepy and I love this maybe it's creepy I think it's creepy cool I don't find it creepy at all actually I don't know maybe because I'm known for my talking hands on this channel um, actually a lot of people make comments about my hands in general even when I was a younger kid because I have very long fingers um, I don't know it just speaks to me and I think it's such an exquisite and unique artistic detail I wore this or I brought this to New York Fashion Week and if there's ever a place to show off it would be at a place like New York Fashion Week where everyone's wearing the glitziest boldest loudest most colorful most expensive most fashionable items and I wore a very understated simple outfit you can check out the video if you missed it I put mod shots of what I was wearing and details and then I brought this which I don't think anyone knew what it is and so again another example of rather than showing off just choosing what works for me even though some of you say this is creepy I still love it and I still chose it so it is really about what works for us personally now before I close out the video I want to share the Queen two days before her passing there's a photo of her with her walking cane and her handbag yes she has her handbag in the crook of her arm I imagine she was in a weakened state at that point but she still had her handbag okay she could have passed the handbag to somebody else to carry for her clearly that would have been an easy decision but she's holding her own handbag you see that is a true handbag enthusiast. Some may say, oh, she probably had some stuff in there that she needed. Yeah, but she has aides and people all around her. So she could have asked them to just hold it. <laughs> She's the queen. To me, through and through, when you look at all the photos throughout her years and her amazing life, her handbag was always there as a little accessory, her companion. And I think that is a true testament to what handbag love, handbag enthusiasm really is. Really, truly. So I hope this video gave you a little bit of a smile. I hope this video broke down some of the potential anxieties that you have around judgment and will people think that I'm showing off. People will think what they will think and you cannot control anyone's thoughts but your own so I say live your life enjoy your life as best as you can be true to yourself and like the Queen do it with elegance do it with poise and don't look back hope you enjoyed this video you guys I'll see you next time bye bye